Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are making dal bukhara or restaurant style dal makhani in a very easy manner. So let's get started. To begin with, we need urad dal, commonly known as kali dal, along with rajma. I have taken one katori urad dal along with half a katori of rajma, soaked it overnight and washed it properly for 3-4 times. Now after washing the dal, you will see that the color of black dal has turned into little dark greener. Now we are adding the dal to the pressure cooker and we will cook it for at least 45 minutes. So it's been 45 minutes that the dal has been cooking. Let's just see if it is done or not. To do this, you can just do a small test. Pick up a rajma and press it with the thumb and see if it's ready. Yes, it's gooey, so the dal is ready. But the secret behind a good dal makhani is that we still have to keep it on low flame to get more thicker. Let's prepare the tadka now. For it, we need butter, crushed tomatoes or tomato puree, degi mirch, red chilli powder, kasuri methi, lot of ginger and lot of garlic. Dal makhani is heavy on your tummy, so make sure you add lot of ginger and garlic to it. So that's all you need to make your tadka. So the secret behind making a restaurant style dal makhani is lots and lots of patience. Yes, without patience your dal is not going to be restaurant style. You cannot rush into making the dal makhani. You have to keep it on low flame for hours and hours so that the flavors and the juices of the dal come out really well together. The dal becomes thicker and thicker when it is being cooked on low flame. So let's get back to the tarka. I am not adding any kind of onions to the tarka. There are many people who do so, but if you really want your dal to be restaurant style, avoid doing that. I have taken two tablespoons of butter and added uh, chopped ginger garlic to it. You can use as much butter as you want because at the end is dal makhani, that is makhan wali dal. So feel free to add uh, as much butter as you want. Also, I'll not be adding salt at this stage. You must be wondering when did I add the salt. The salt was added at the time of uh, boiling the dal in the pressure cooker. So I added water, dal and salt in the dal at that point of time. Now I'm going to add degi mirch to the ginger garlic uh, tarka. Make sure that you do not brown the ginger garlic. We just need to saute it a little bit into the butter. Use degi mirch. Try to use degi mirch because it gives really good color to the tarka. Cook it for a minute or so, not too much. And then we will be adding our crushed tomatoes or our tomato puree. I am adding 4 big tablespoons of tomato puree. I am using a packed uh, tomato puree. Now you can make it fresh at home, crush your tomatoes at home and use it. I used it uh, market uh, tomato puree because I really like the color and the richness of the packed tomato puree. We need to cook the tomatoes really well now until they leave the pan and the color changes and uh, the butter oozes out of the tomatoes. Keep stirring it well. Now you can see that uh, the tarka is coming out well together. The tomatoes have become thicker. The butter is oozing out of the tarka and also the tarka has left the pan which means that our tarka is ready to go into the dal. I wish I could show you the color of the tarka, uh, mistake that I used the red pan for it. Now we are going to add the tarka to the dal. And this tarka is going to add such rich color to the dal. Immediately after the adding the tarka, you will see the red rich color in the dal that we see in the restaurant. The moment we add the tarka, the color of the dal has completely changed from brown to reddish. That's exactly how uh, a restaurant style dal makhani looks like. So we are heading in the right direction. 
to all my Canadian friends, this is a shout out to you all. I know we all crave for our five star kind of dal makhani, like a dal bukhara. Trust me, try this recipe. You will not miss restaurant style dal makhani anymore. And if you make this recipe, do mention it in my comment section and also subscribe to my channel. After adding the tarka, the dal is looking delicious, richer and thicker. You can see my dal is still cooking on low flame and that's the secret behind a restaurant style dal makhani. Heading towards our last step of making our dal makhani, take one tablespoon of butter or as much as you like, more the better, better it is. Melt the butter and add 4 to 5 cloves of chopped garlic. This is one step that is going to take your home cooked dal and turn it into a glorified dal makhani or a dal bukhara. Now this garlic needs to be brown so you have to cook the garlic really well into the butter. The garlic has turned brown and that's exactly how we need it. Adding this garlic to the dal now. This is our last step. Mix the tarka really well into the dal. You can see that the dal has become really thick now. Now we are adding half a glass uh, of half a cup of water to the dal. You can add water as per the consistency that you like of the dal. But make sure that you do not make it very runny. I also added uh, kasuri methi at this stage to the dal. Which I missed out to show you in the previous step. Just mix the dal really well. And you can see my dal is still cooking on low flame. Just keep stirring it so that it does not get burned. And that's about it. Our dal makhani restaurant style is ready at home with very few ingredients but with lots and lots of patience and love. Add as much butter as you want at this stage to make it more buttery and yummier. Let me know how did you like the recipe and definitely try it out. Enjoy your dal makhani with home cooked naan, roti or rice. For more such videos, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.